The first track we're going to trade solos over is in the key of A. We'll be using A7, D7, and E7 changes. Let me show you a few ideas that we could use in both of our solos when we're trading. Let's take a look at the first lick we can use when we're trading solos. It comes right out of A minor pentatonic. And it's got some great hammer-ons. It goes like this. And lots of times I'll kind of alter it and go. And I'll put that weird sort of like trill motion on the end of it. And I've kind of been doing that lately where it's uh, instead of kind of doing the hammer on pull off, I'll slide it. It's kind of a fun little sound. So once again, slowly. And what's great is you really want to take advantage of that little quarter step bend there. And I'll use my second finger to grab that D uh, note on the third string. And you see my right hand is kind of picking some of those notes as well too, but you can use your pick. Or with your fingers. Then I go. And that's a move that you really want to incorporate a lot in your own playing is that sort of quick slide. You don't want to go too slow. And you can watch how once I get it fluid, my fingers really sort of fall nicely into place there. Okay, so that's a really great sort of Texas-inspired pentatonic lick that you can use uh, when you're trading solos with me, because I'll sure use it. The second idea I want to show you is a great double stop motif that you can repeat over and over again, and it really creates a cool theme. It's right here, once again, sort of in that A minor pentatonic land. And we're going to use this double stop. We're going to play a C, and we're going to play an F sharp, so we're going to get sort of this sixth sound uh, against uh, the one chord. And what, when you play that... One of the classic techniques is to kind of give a little bit of a bend as you do it. And you finish it off that way with a bunch of other double stops that are coming your way. So it's going to be a little A and an E here. And then a D and an F sharp. C, E, hammer on onto the third string to grab that C sharp. It gives us the major third there of A. And there's a good chance that I'll manipulate that rhythmically and I'll change it here and there, but it's, it's a really, really good springboard uh, to create a nice thematic solo. Because if you're playing a blues gig, you're probably going to play a lot of solos, so it's nice to have something that's very repetitive and melodic and the listener can really grab onto. The third lick I'm going to show you is a great little turnaround idea. It comes out of A minor pentatonic pattern four, so right around this area. And we're going to bend the second string D note up to an E. Add our pinky to the G note. And that little idea, it can be tricky because you have to bend the D, release to the C, and then get your third finger on the A so that your second finger can grab the E note and sort of round out the lick and the chord progression because the last chord of the progression is an E7, okay? So together it goes like this. But it's really cool a way to kind of navigate through that scale pattern and to play maybe a new turnaround lick that you're not used to. All right, so there's a handful of ideas that you can use when we're trading solos.